Hey, what's up, Hope City Church? Uh, glad you get to join me on this 7 at 7 tonight. Uh, whether you're watching now or later, um, I am so happy that we get to spend some time together. Uh, so real quick, let's open up with some prayer and then we'll get into it. God, I thank you for tonight. I thank you for um, this time that we get to spend together. God, I thank you for the word that came forth this morning. God, I thank you for service overall. God, I thank you that your presence was there and that it was thick and we were felt you audibly. In Jesus' name, I pray that somebody gets something out of this video tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, real quick, I am going to dive right in. Um, if y'all give me a second to just pull up a verse I want to read. Uh, one that John, Pastor John read this morning out of Romans 8. Um, you know, one of the first things Pastor John said this morning was that he was that uh, the resurrection power is available every day, right? It's not just available on Easter Sunday morning. And that's pretty much what he opened up his sermon with, and it was really, really good um, to to just have that reminder, you know, after that that post Easter anointing, um, and it's uh, it's it's just good to remind ourselves of that. You know, after we've we've gotten through something that was so so powerful and so good with the the launch and everything like that, it doesn't have to stop on that Sunday, right? And so it was really cool that John led off with that. Um, so I, I want to get into Romans. We're going to start, or we're really only going to read one verse, uh, verse eleven, Romans eight, verse eleven, which says, um, "If the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you." He who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Okay, I know that's not the exact version. Um, I'm reading ESV for those who are wondering. I know that's not the exact version that uh, Pastor John read this morning, um, but it's still good either way, right? Um, the resurrection life is breathed into man. Right, so what what he's saying there, what the what the word is telling us there, is that the same power, right, that rose Christ from the dead lives in us. That that we now have the power to to go and multiply, to to breathe into others, to share the word with others that God gave to us. Right, he 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 gave he gave us all that power. He breathed it into us. He gave us all you know principality and you know rule and dominion over everything on this earth so that we could go and we could do his work right amen um jesus god gave us something that everybody on in the world needs which is jesus right everybody every single person out there needs to hear it every, every single person needs to know the good news every single person needs to hear the gospel at least one time in their life right if i know somebody who's never heard the gospel and i don't tell them i have failed amen uh that's how i feel and it says and god god uh, says you know tells us to go and multiply and pastor john touched that on that a little bit this morning it didn't say you know multiply as in go have a bunch of kids right but it says multiply uh, as in multiply who I am in you. So go give that what what you have, the power that you have that was breathed into you, right? From from the very beginning, from Adam and Eve to now, and go share it with the world. Go go tell it to other people. Go be hands and feet extended of Jesus, right? Let them know of the great power of God. Amen. Uh Pastor John goes on to talk about uh planting seeds and it's a a really simple idea, right? But it's a great truth and it's a great reality that lays in that example that he gave about, um, about planting seeds. So I won't get into, you know, everything you talked about with the corn and the soybean or whatever. But, uh, if you plant a seed, you expect a harvest, right? You expect something to happen. You don't plant a seed with no expectation. You don't plant a seed and then just leave it there, right? And so one of the things, um, I kind of, you know, took in my notes and, and broke down in my mind and Pastor John touched on it, but just my perspective is planting the seed or watering the seed is just as important, if not more important than planting the seed, right? I know you have to start somewhere and you have to have a foundation. It's really important to plant the seed, but if you don't water the seed, right? Pastor John, you know, read in Mark four and then he said in a moment, you know, all the watering you've done can be, can be taken away, right? Um, he said, or watering the seed is just as important as planting the seed. What, what kind of harvest are you seeing grown as a result from your seed being planted, right? Are you seeing, 
Are you seeing a healthy, positive harvest? Are you seeing a harvest that is growing fervently? Are you seeing a harvest that is growing exponentially, you know, what beyond what you expected? Or are you seeing seeds being planted on, on bad ground? Are you seeing seeds being planted on rocks that don't have dirt on top of them? Are you seeing you know, seeds that are planted on, on bad ground that eventually birds swoop in and eat up? What kind of watering or how much watering are you doing after that seed is planted so that you know you are going to receive the harvest that you expected when you planted the seed, right? If I go and I, and I witness to somebody, I tell them about Jesus and I, I just plant a seed, right? You don't feed a baby steak. I don't have to give them the whole thing, the whole gospel, my very first time talking to them. But if I go plant a seed and I see that person again, you know, the next week, and, and I, and I'm, you know, riding in the car or something with them. John used this example, so I'll use it. Um, and, and somebody cuts me off and I scream and I'm, you know, hollering or cussing, whatever it is in front of that person, right? That doesn't put water on that seed that they planted, right? If anything, it makes them want to take that seed out and throw it in the trash and forget about it. I have to be able to water that seed that I've planted and do the work after that person's heard the gospel if I want to see the expected harvest come from that, right? So, so there should be many, many little Jesuses, little Christs walking around and because, because we've planted so many seeds and because we were able to water that, you know, on a consistent uh, basis and, and be the actual true hands and feet and show the love of God that he showed us, right? that we talked about last uh, Sunday on Easter. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, guys, come back and watch us tomorrow and then come and hang out with me again on Tuesday. Uh, love you guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Have a good one.